Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we are going to solve this given quadratic equation by completing the square. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here is our quadratic equation. So the very first thing we want to make sure that our leading coefficient is 1. So we are going to divide by 7 across the board. So that is the very first step we are going to do. So 7 divided by 7 is going to become 1x squared minus this become 10x plus 9 equal to 0. That is the very first step. The next step is we want to make sure that we have only x variables on the left hand side. That means this constant positive 9 must go on the other side. So we got x squared minus 10x equals to negative 9. So our next step is let's look at the coefficient of x which is negative 10. We're going to focus only this part positive 10. Let me just put down positive 10 right up here and then we are going to divide that number by 2. Always divide by 2 so that is going to give us 5 and then we are going to square this number. So whatever this number we got we are going to add this number on both sides of this equation. Let's go ahead and do that one. So it's going to be x squared minus 10x plus equal to negative 9 plus. So now we are going to add this 5 square on this side and 5 square on this side. Now let's focus on this left hand side over here. This represents a complete square of x minus 5 square. And by the way, we are using this fact to complete this square is a minus b square is always equal to a square minus 2ab plus b square. So that's the reason we got this one. And on the right hand side, we got negative 9 and 5 square is simply 25. So we simply got x minus 5 square turns out to be equal to 16. Now we want to remove this square. We want to undo this square. So we are going to take the square root on both sides. So this square and square root, they undo each other. They cancel each other out. So we simply got x minus 5 equal to positive or negative 4. Now we are going to move this negative 5 on the right hand side. So we are going to have x equal to positive 5 plus or minus 4. The next step is we are going to split these numbers along these signs positive and negative. So on this side I can write this thing up x equal to 5 plus 4 and this side I can write x equal to 5 minus 4. Once again the plus sign is right up here and the minus over here where I split. So now 5 plus 4 x equal to 9 is one of our solutions and x equal to 1 is our another solution. Thus once again our solution turns out to be x equal to 1 and x equal to 9 and that is our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye!